Hey guys, my name is Kat and today I will be filming the My First Time book tag. This tag was created by Divya over at Divya Reads, I believe, and I was tagged by Brittany over at the Library of Brittany and I will link both of their videos down below. Definitely check them out. I am going to get straight into the questions here. There are a total of 11 questions in this tag and the first question is your first YA book. This question took me so long to come up with an answer for. I have, I'm not positive what my first YA book it was, but if I'm guessing, I'm going to say The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I have no idea what my first YA book was. There were some books that I read in the beginning of this year that I don't remember much about them. So this is kind of a guess, but I'm going to say The Hunger Games. I absolutely love this book and it's just fantastic. The second question is my first trilogy or series and that has to be the A to Z mystery books by Ron Roy is his name. I absolutely loved these books as a kid. I still love these books when I'm bored and I can't think of what to read. I'm, I'll pick up one of these and read it in like half an hour like it's a children's book and it has pictures and stuff in it. These are just fantastic. It's about these nine and ten year old kids who solve mysteries that start with the letters of the alphabet. Like we have the missing mummy and the orange outlaw. They're just, oh, uh, I love these books. I love, I love these books. Question three is the first book I fell in love with. Um, it would probably be the A to Z mystery books, specifically the missing mummy. I love this one but I don't want to be super redundant with that. So I'm going to say Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine, I think is how you say that. I love this book. I've always loved this book. My copy is a little torn and a little messed up, but I I need to reread this book super soon because I absolutely adore this book. Everything about it is just phenomenal. It's just, ugh. Oh. It's so good. It's better than the movie, and that's saying something, because Ella Enchanted is one of my favorite movies as well. It's, it's so good. It's so good. The next question is the first book that I hated. And there aren't a lot of books that I can say I necessarily hated, but the book I'm going to say is The Prince and the Pauper by Mark Twain. I had to read this book in seventh grade, and I hated it so much. It was so boring to me. I just didn't understand what was going on. Maybe I would like it now that I'm a little older, but I just, I hated that book so much. I also, like, other books I hated was, like, Romeo and Juliet. It's all the classics, apparently. I hated, I did not like Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare either, which I read that kind of recently. And I also kind of hated The Spectacular Now by Tim Tharp. I hated all three of those books. But the first one I hated to answer your question is The Prince and the Popper by Mark Twain. I hate that book. My first classic book is question number five, right? We're halfway through already? All right. My first classic also I read, I had to read in seventh grade. We had to read two books in seventh grade. One was The Prince and the Popper, and the other one was Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. I'm going to count that as a classic. I'm pretty sure that's a classic. I had to read that in seventh grade. I loved that book. That book was phenomenal. I actually read that book before I read The Prince and the Pauper. So I read that Treasure Island and loved it and I was really looking forward to the next book and then I hated The Prince and the Pauper. But Treasure Island is an amazing classic. It's so interesting. It's so cool. I highly, highly recommend it. It's so good. My the next question, question number six is the my first nonfiction book. And I don't read a lot of nonfiction at all. I would like to read more nonfiction, but I haven't read like any nonfiction this year. So this question was really, really hard for me to find one. But I figured this is the closest thing we're gonna get to my first nonfiction book. And it's a little embarrassing, kind of, but it's burning up on the Jonas Brothers book by Kevin, Nick, and Joe Jonas. I love the Jonas Brothers. Like I'm not even gonna shame myself for that. I absolutely love the Jonas Brothers. I think this book is beautiful. I think it's phenomenal. I I just love it. Yes, by the way, I was that awkward like 10 year old dancing at the Jonas Brothers concert with my little Jonas Brothers t-shirt. That was me. 
That was also me at the Jonas Brothers concert last summer before they broke up. All right, the video got cut off a little bit there, so we're just gonna continue from where I was. And my first nonfiction book was the Jonas Brothers book. It's great, highly recommend it. <laughs> Moving right along is question number, I'm trying to read the paper here, so if you're wondering why I keep looking this way, I have the questions written down here. Question number seven is my first book fandom. I think my first book fandom would have been the Hunger Games fandom. The Hunger Games is when I really discovered that there was such thing as like book fandoms where you could like talk to people who also loved the book. I thought that was amazing. I obsessed over Hunger Games with people. It's, I love it. I just, I love it. And the Hunger Games fandom is my first book fandom. Next question is my first fictional crush and that would be Percy Jackson because Percy Jackson. Obviously, Percy Jackson. There's really nothing else to add to that. Question number nine is the first fictional character I looked up to, and this is the time where I'm going to be redundant. First fictional character I had to look up to is probably Ruth Rose from the A to Z mystery books. This is her here. She dressed in the same color for everything. Like, you can see her overalls and her sweatshirt and her headband are all blue. So her pants would have been blue, and her shoes would have been blue. She dressed in all the same color. I thought that was magnificent. I wanted to dress in the same color all the time. I just, I found out that she was, like, she's a nine or ten year old girl, or eight, I don't know how old they are, who solves mysteries. That's amazing. I really looked up to that. That's just, I, I love Ruth Rose. She's, she was like my first Hermione. I adore Hermione now, but Ruth Rose came first for me. And question number 10 is my first book character that I hated, and that I picked Count Olaf from the Series of Unfortunate Events books. This man is just terrible. He's just a terrible man. All in all, he's a horrible, horrible person. I hated him then. I hate him now. He's just, he kills me. I so much hate. So much hate still so much hate. I'm rereading the series now. The hate is back. I hate, I hate that man. I hate him. And those are all the actual book questions. The last question is who do you tag? And I'm actually not going to tag anybody. If you're watching this right now and you want to do this tag, go ahead and do it. I'm not going to specifically tag anybody to do this video because I don't have anyone in mind who I really know would want to do it, who I can tag. So I'm not going to tag anyone. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you very, very soon with my next video. And see you later.